everyone, and welcome to the season finale of Carousel TV. I'm Peggy, and I'm here to present the final episode of the show for now. Think about all the fun we have, and all the fun we're going to have. So get on the hill, get your cheese, and let's start rolling. Welcome to the show. and keep it rolling. Welcome to the show. Hi, I'm Peggy, and have you ever heard of Eurovision? Eurovision is a music celebration powered by Pizzazz and Golden Stars. In the next scene, we're going to be talking to Daniel Wakeford, an old star carousel legend about his passion for Eurovision. So sit down or start, get ready to dance as we watch this Dispois type of interview. And here we are at the Brighton Dome and here's our guest today. Hi, I'm Daniel Wakeford. Shall we go in? Yeah, let's go. This board, when I can see this, Sam Ryder. Sam Ryder used to be on the Eurovision Song Contest 2022. He's singing all about Spaceman. But UK, UK used to have got a second place. But the Ukraine won from last year ago. Follow me. We're at the Brighton Dome in the backstage area talking to the one and only Daniel Wakeford. We're going to be talking about not just anything but a music celebration known as Eurovision. So, Daniel, can you tell us a bit about how your love for Eurovision started? Well, I've been watching a Eurovision Song Contest for a first time in 2007 when I seen the UK and uh, the winner was Serbia and uh, second time when I seen it in 2008 but uh, UK doesn't win, it was Russia. You mentioned a lot of different acts throughout the years though. Do you have one, one favourite act from Eurovision? My favourite act of the UK? Well, something like that, yeah, but um, my favourite act in the Eurovision is all about when uh, Katrina and her wave singing <laughs> Love Shine a Light in 1997. Speaking of Eurovision, we are in a pretty iconic venue when it comes to Eurovision. Do you know the history of the Brighton Dome connected to Eurovision? Hmm, history... Well, I don't know, actually. Oh, I'll give you a clue. 1974. Oh, yes. No. In 1974. That's what I think I do remember yeah. all about when ABBA was singing Waterloo onto that Brighton Dome for in 49 years. The year is 1974. The Eurovision Song Contest has just finished and the winner is Abba from Sweden at Stockholm, Sweden. Abba, I bet you're excited. I bet you're still you about it. I bet you're still about winning the contest. How do you feel? Oh, what feels so great? What feels so great? Thank you, thank you for selecting us. Thank you, Dispoir. Thank you for every country, every jury, every color world for saying Dispoir to us. That's quite interesting because next year it's going to be Alba Vision because it's been 50 years since they won so maybe we'll get double Alba double Alba double Alba double trouble or not trouble just vibes <laughs> what did you think of Eurovision this year um 
This year I saw that Mae Muller singing yeah. I Wrote a Song. It was yeah. lovely, but um, she was really great. Yeah. What do you think of Sam Ryder? Sam Ryder? He was really yeah. great. Um, I like that song all about Spaceman, but the UK doesn't even win from last year I... ago. It was all about the Ukraine, and the UK has got the second place. Yeah. It's not so bad for me. Yeah, Eurovision means a lot of different things to everyone, but for you, what do you like about it? I think I'm always like to be performing on a Brighton Dome, you know. I know you're a musician. It's rock and roll. about music so do you think you'd like to one day enter your vision yes <laughs> I'm always like it but my dream is if I might gonna be on the Eurovision song contest <laughs> can be on next year or even a um, fingers crossed oh do you want to go as a solo artist or as a band just me I'm a solo yeah. that's quite powerful as well because Usually, a lot of people have backing singers or backing dancers, but sometimes it's very powerful when it's just one singer as well. Can you tell us a bit about the song? My new song? Yeah. Oh yeah. My new Euro song, it's called Happy Days. Yeah. My dream is I'm always still going to be on a Eurovision yeah. Song Contest for next year, or even a Fingers Crossed. It's that, well, happy days indeed. So, thank you for the interview, hey, Daniel, and for everyone watching, go and check out Eurovision. How's that? That's perfect. Brilliant. <laughs>again we've come to the end of the show we hope you've enjoyed the show if you have make sure you like comment subscribe down below and we'll see you in the next one